everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 100. I'm an from Nivis Plays, and also from CNC Productions, and where we'd last taken off, well, we'd done the Mass Immune side quest, which involved fishing up some random colored bottles, I believe it was red, yellow, green, blue, and black, and um, we also found Gilgamesh, who kindly gave us the Mass Immune Rod, mistaking it for a um, katana, I believe it is, the Mass Immune Katana, and also... From doing that, we were able to finish all the fishing side quests and obtain, well I can't show it now because I already sold it, but obtain the um, Lu Shang badge. And finally, from doing all that and also defeating Yaisaman and the Omega Mark and collecting their badges, we were able to sell all the badges and get the Wyvern Hero Blade, which is basically the ultimate two-handed sword in game. And now on this part, it's time to go collect some ultimate weapons. So first things first, I'm going to be starting off with none other than the one-handed sword Durandal. And basically, I'm just going to be going to places and going to try and show the monster and um, the loot that you need to get it and um, the requirements in order to do that. So, without further ado, let us begin. Alright, so here's the first thing you need to get Durundal, the sword. You need a Lasarch and this is the on. So, you need to kill the Lasarch N type, which of course needs to be like, I don't know, a Blizzard type, I guess you could say a Blizzard type effect in the Parameter Rift. And here I am at the Icebound Flow. So to get that to happen, I just entered from the Feywood into Parameter, and um, it was freezing like this. So let's see how it goes. First things first, got to get rid of that Barentine Croc. Okay, cool. Now time to steal from it. And now time to kill it. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, it'll drop, but I've already got one anyway, so I don't really have to worry too much. And it didn't drop anything, which sucks. But basically, I'll show you what it says on the description. Wherever it is, auto sort. Alright, Lysion, where are you? Lysion, Lysion. Mirror head, forbidden flesh, foul flesh, sky jewel. Wow, where the heck is it? It couldn't have gone past it. Or maybe I did. Alright, there we go. Dancing chill winds cold enough to freeze time itself. Adorn this ni Nivius jewel crafted or carved with an exquisite engraving of a Lasarch Entite. So that was a mouthful of words, but basically that's the first thing you need to get the Durundal one-handed sword. So now on to the next item. Alright people, so here's the next monster, which you, the item you need to get from it. The Necrofiend is none other than the Lifewick. So first things first, I'm going to steal from it, but basically it's a rare drop, and it's also a um, a um, monarch drop as well. There you go, with the life wick right there. So it's pretty lucky. I believe it's a 5 or 10% chance, so I'll go and have a look at it right now in the loot. Um, but I already have some, I believe, as well. There you go. And you need three of them um, in order to get to Rundle. So, the height of this candle's flame varies with the bearer. As long as someone holds it, the flame will never go out. The bearer's life force made manifest. So there you go, it's located in other than Henna Mines in this special charter shaft, so just before um, Zodiac. And it's also located as the entrance to the Feywood, which I found, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, there you go, people. And now onto the final item. Alright, people, so here is where, well, the um, last item you need to get is known as the Emperor Scale, and you get it from this monster right here. The RKO Avius, I believe that's how you pronounce it. First things first, he's been beaten up by a little chicken, so let's kill it. Now, we steal from him. And of course, it's a um, Monarch drop, so that was pretty good, I guess. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, it is a 14% or 15% drop or something like that. So, it's going to take you a while, like, to say the least. Unless you're really lucky and you get it on the first go, like I would have did with the Life Wick. But it's in this area here, the Bell... Balamka Fault. I believe that's how you pronounce it, so let's have another crack at it and see if um see if I can get the freaking item. Steal from me. You can also poach from it as well, but it's best just to get the drop rate off of it. Yeah. Come on. Alright, what'd you drop? But I'm carapace. There we go. Got lucky, and I believe I already had one, so I believe I got all the materials to get the um Durundal. So there's the life book right there. Emperor scale, emperor scale. Let's see. There it is. So there's two of them. A scale 
Scale from a primordial wyvern that has lived for centuries, the mere sight of one of these scales strikes fear into the hearts of those upon whom the wyvern preys. So, yeah, now we got all the materials, now it's time to sell it and get our awesome juicy lutation reward. So, where can I exit this place? I'll just run down here, I guess. Um, also, to let you all know, I will not be showing how to get the ultimate blade because I've already shown that on my LP if you've been um, watching my parts. So, just go search through my um, LP playlist and you'll find the part on how to get the. Um, Ultimate Blade. Also, another side note, I will not be showing how to get the Zodiac Spear as well because I've already gotten that. I've shown how to use the Cureless method, the RNG altering, and I'm um, also where to get it originally, which is in the Necrohola Narbides. And also, finally, I will not be showing um, how to get Mass Immune because I showed that when I was versing Yazamat, how you need to get the Gem Steel and the um, other materials as well, like Scarlet Titan, in order to create the Gem Steel. So, yeah, sorry about that, people. But, um,. <laughs> You can search that up in other guides, or you can search it up in my LP videos, but yeah. Anyhow, without further ado, I'll meet you back at the bazaar so we can get our awesome saw, the Durundal. Alright people, so here we go, we're gonna sell three times the life wick. And now we're going to find the next item, which is... Emperor Scale, two of those. And last but not least, of course... Where are you? Glossarch Helicion. So once you've finished with that, you go into the bazaar. Well Forged Blade. Replica of a great sword of legend. It lacks the vivid colouring of the original, but it's elsewhere its match. But is elsewhere its match. So, let's buy it. And you get Durundal. So let's equip it. Actually I should probably fix up my inventory. So go into weapons. Auto sort. Whoops, go back into it again. So there it is, it's got 99 power, so it's quite strong for a sword. And also we're going to equip the Zodiac S Cuchion, or however you like to pronounce that. And, well, I guess I'll be able to show you how it works, because I'm going to be going after the next weapon, which is going to be the Scorpion Tail, the strongest axe and hammer type weapon under the licenses. So, I will be going to the location where we're going to be collecting our first item, but I'll show you where it is on the license point. There it is. So, yep, I'm going to be going to the next location, we'll be collecting our next set of items. And I'll also be showing you how the Durandal looks like and how it works, so, be right back. Alrighty, so here's the location of the next monster, I guess, which is <laughs> flecked in midair, but you've got to kill this guy known as a Thunderbug. In order to get one of the items known as a Charge Gizzard, you need three of them in order to get um, a part of the Scorpion Tail requirements. So, I'm going to steal from him, you don't need to steal from him. Um, to actually get it. It's a um, monograph drop of course and it's 15%. So there's the Durandal sword as well. As you can see, it looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, um, these bugs, there's two of them here which I'll show. The easy way of getting to them is um, here in the crossover B, so it's right next to the teleport crystal. So just zone out to like two, three different places and basically, yeah, um, come back here, verse them again. And then if you want, try and build up a chain so you can actually get it. And unfortunately I didn't get any there, so I will cut ahead to the next place we got to go, and when I also have three of the charged gizzards. So, be right back. Alright, so here I am at the location, the next place to get the item. But here is the charged gizzard, and I've got three of them. A long stringy object made of a special kind of metal holds an electrical charge that can be released at will. So the next item we're looking for is of course none other than, and there's the monster right there. The Skull Wyvern, which of course you can find here in the Zertanine Caverns at this place, the Dry Beam Cabin, and you can also find it, unfortunately, at Guru Vagan, um, at numerous places at Guru Vagan, like, to be precise. But first off, I'll show you the item. The item we're looking for is none other than the Wyvern Bone, which I actually got a few. I believe I got two, I think. There they are, Wyvern Bone. Yeah, I did get two. So, Bone from a Slain Wyvern. The powerful magics encircling the bone are visible to the naked eye, used in alchemy. Now, on another side note, I like to mention... I'd highly suggest getting all of the monographs when farming for these items because if you don't have the monographs, you're not able to get the items. Like for now, you need the dragon monograph, and I believe this is a 10% or 15% chance of it dropping off the Scar Weapon. Also, I shouldn't be attacking it, I should actually be stealing from it because it's an uncommon steal as well. So, let's see what happens. Dark Crystal, and nope, nothing, so now we just have to hope for a drop. That's if he does drop it. Or else if not, I'll just have to chain off these guys by leaving into a different area and um, coming back, of 
course and you know killing them over and over again until I get a good chain. So I believe there's one more up here, if I'm not mistaken. You're a little demon. There you are, hello. So let's have another crack at you. And all we've got left is one more set of items, which is four Scorpio gems, I believe. And um, then we can go get our Scorpion Tail. See the charger bargain is not bad. This is the bogey, I remember farming you. And what did you drop? Hopefully the item I'm looking for. And no. Alright, so I'm going to zone away three zones and collect this item. And I'll meet you all at the location, the next place, where we got to get the um, Scorpio gem, I believe, to finally create the Scorpion Tail, which is the um, mason hammer that we're looking for. Also, on another side note, I'd like to mention, which I'd um, show you all now, some items, or other items I forgot to mention, which I um, will not be showing, is, let's see, I'm looking at ultimate ones, I'll be showing Sagittarius, how to get that, uh, Tornasol, a Dragon Whisker, yes, uh, let's see, I believe it's over here if we have a look at some of these. Okay, Rod of Faith we're already gotten, so I'm not showing that. It's from a hunt. I believe the King Be uh, Behemoth hunt you get it from. Um, Grand Mace as well is the best mace in game. We've already gotten that, and I believe that was from a hunt as well, which I can't quite remember. Um, let's see. Euclid Sextant is the um, best measure in game, and we've gotten that, and that is from a hunt as well, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, or some sort of drop. And Staff of the Magia will be showing, of course. And let's see, Maces. Yeah, it's the Grand Mace. Bombs, I believe I do have the best bomb. Yes, Volcano. Um, that was from a hunt as well, I believe. Fumble Haunt I will not be showing because we've um, gotten that. I've already shown you. It's from a chest in the Henne Mines, I believe, uh, where the ant lion is near that area. And then I've gotten two of them. I actually got another one, which is funny enough. I'll be showing how to get the Well Whisker. Yes, I'll be showing how to get that. Yes, I'll be showing how to get that. And that is going to be annoying to get. Danjuro, you were the bane of my existence. And let's see. How about crossbows? And yes, I'll be showing how they get the gastrofitties. So basically, that's what I'm going to be showing. So without further ado, let us continue on with this item grinding mm, garbage fiasco shenanigans. <laughs> so be right back. Alright, so here I am at the location of where the monster is and also where we need to get the next item, which is the Scorpio gem. And some of you are like, but you're still in the Zertanan Caverns. So what's the other monster? Well, luckily for you guys, with the gem, Scorpio gem, there it is, the yellow gemstone bearing the name Scorpio foretells the fruition of a long-held plan, or plans. Luckily for you guys, the Wyvern Bone, which we stole from the Skull Wyvern, or it's actually a drop, is also located next to these guys, known as the Bure, or Bure, or whatever you want to call it, which is a gargoyle type monster. These guys have an uncommon steal, but apparently have a decent drop of um, stealing the Scorpio gem from them. You can also get the Scorpio gem from the Gargoyle Barons, I believe, in Guru Vagan, but apparently it's better to come here, and also because I'm here, I might as well do it anyway. So, it's time to attempt to steal from all these guys, then kill them, and basically run away three zones, and then come back again and just grind off on them until I can actually get the two more gems, I believe, because you need four. So we've got none off these guys, so I'll just kill them all. One, two, three. Cool, cool. So yeah, um, you can steal them. It's only a steal, it's not a drop, which is sort of sucks, I guess. But you can find the Bure, or however you like to pronounce it, in here, the Hourglass Basin, the Sandfall, or Sandfalls. You can also fight in the Dry Beam Cavern and also in the Darkened Wharf. So it's in the majority of the places within the um, Zertanan Caverns, which is excellent. But other than that, <laughs> bombs on the other side of the canyon, it's a bad place to be. So other than that, I'm going to cut ahead to when I um, have all the required materials and I'll meet you all at the bazaar so we can sell it and get our juicy lutations, which is none other than the scorpion tail. So, be right back. Alright, so here we go. Three charged gizzards. Now what we need is three... Where are you? Wyvern bones. Wherever you are, there we are. And finally, four scorpio gems, which I believe is at the top for me. There they are. And to tell you the truth, Scorpio Gems didn't take me long at all. In about a minute, I got two. So, just goes to show that, yeah, it's probably best to say in the Zertan Cabins and steal off the Bure. So, there we go, the Scorpion, 60,000 gil. Hammer made an imitation of a giant scorpion tail, capable of inflicting devastating damage. And there we have it, Scorpion Tail. 
So I'll be equipping that, and of course, the next item we're going to be going after is none other than Sagittarius, the best bow in game. So I'll equip that. We can also use a shield with it, which is pretty kick ass. So I will meet you at the location where we're going to get our first set of items, and I'll also show you what Scorpion Tail looks like. So, be right back. Alright, so there you go, that's what it looks like, the Scorpion Tail. Pretty kick, kick ass if I do say so myself, but here's the next monster that we got to verse to get the item. None other than the Humber Bar itself, and this is in the Moss Foreign High Waste. And we need to get an item known as the Beast Lord's Horn. It's an 8% drop rate with um, monograph drop, of course, from the Knight's monograph. And also its location, you can find it here in the Summit Path, also in an Inferian Way. And you can find it up here in the Northern Skirts. So it's best to, in my opinion, probably just steal from it at first. And then kill as many as you can and try and gather a massive chain up. So just only kill Humber Bars. Ignore all the other monsters. If you want to keep them safe, put them to sleep. That would probably be a better idea. And if you are wondering, um, yes, the damage with maces is, or hammers is arbitrary. Hence is why I usually don't use them. And that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool indeed. Anyhow, see if I can find some more without trying to kill some of these wolves and stuff. So I'm pretty sure you can find a fair decent amount of Humber Bars in the Northern Skirts. Uh, there's like three or four of them, I believe, near the entrance, which is pretty good. So I'll probably be heading up there. We'll see if we can find some in this area here. And because it's an 8% drop rate, you're going to be here for a bit of a while. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Um, that's, of course, unless you're really lucky and you get a few drops. So it's going to probably take me a bit of a while, but other than that, yeah... So, I will meet you at the location of the next item, once of course I collect the three Beast Lord's Horns. So, be right back. Alrighty people, so, here we go. This is the item which basically I was looking for. The Beast Lord Horn, a sign by which one knows the true king of the beasts. Towering towards the heavens, the horn seems to challenge the gods themselves. Now, the next item we need to get, which I will show... Where is it? I've actually got two of them, I believe. There it is, the moon ring, a large metal disc out of which the shape of a full moon has been carved, rumoured to be a device for the entrapment of spirits or perhaps a protective charm. So we needed three of the Beast Lord horns, and now we're going to need three moon, uh, moon rings. And you can get the moon rings from none other than... What's it loads? That thing! The Ashwire Burn. Some of you were like, wait... That was in Guru Vagan, you were killing that thing heaps. Yes, that is true, you can find the Ash Wyvern in Guru Vagan, or you can find one here at the Inferion Seat on the Moss Foreign High Waste. And this is where I plan on grinding it, because personally, I don't want to run all the way back through Guru Vagan just to get to the Great Crystal and find the bloody Ash Wyvern again. So, what you need to do is, with this Ash Wyvern, unfortunately, the way to grind it is if you move three zones away, you will not be able to respawn it. It's one of those, I guess you could say, unique monsters that it doesn't respawn. And the only way you can respawn it is by teleporting away to another zone and then coming back using a teleport stone. So that's exactly what I plan on doing. And also, considering that it's right here and there's a teleport stone right there, I'm more than, more than happy to do that because it won't take long at all. The other thing as well is that some of you might be worried saying, oh, well, you'll run out of teleport stones quite fast. That doesn't necessarily matter because you can get teleport stones very fast by them from the Rabbit Aster, the uh, Move Through Bazaar, or you can actually get them by doing the uh, Money Grinding Drake at Zero Miss because the skeletons there, when you chain them, actually give you heaps of teleport stones anyway. So it's not much of a waste, that's all I'm saying. And it's dead. And it dropped nothing. So I'm going to go back, teleport away, and grind off the sky until I get one more moon ring. And then I'll meet you at the next location where we need to get the last item to get the Sagittarius bow. So, be right back. Alright, so here I am at the location of where the um, last monster is, where we're going to get the last item, which is of no surprise, I guess. But it's the Sagittarius gem. Of course, because we're getting the Sagittarius bow, we need the Sagittarius gem. So, you can find this monster in the Slumber Mead, the Fog Mothers, Lifeless Strand, and the Field of the Fallen Lords. I'm gonna head up north here. So yes, we're back in the Narbrius Deadlands, which is kick-ass. I'm glad I got to come back here. And of course, um, the monster we're looking for, it's not a drop, we're actually looking for a steal from it, so I've got to find it, of course. And I hear, I think I hear it. I think is the key word, not entirely sure. No, you're not it. No, you're not it. Where are you, Mr. Monster thing? No, you're not it. It's on the back of me. It's 
not you either. Come on, little monster thing I'm looking for. Which I'm sure a lot of you already know what it is, or you've already seen it before, that is. If I don't find it, I'll head into the next area and look for it there. Because I know there's definitely one there. Let's look down here. Perhaps it's down here. Oh, there's a chest. I'll loot that. Red Fang, meh. No. Alright, so I'll check in the next area then. I know there's definitely one there. Maybe they're, um, they pop up when you walk close to next to the water. But anyhow, you're going to need four Sagittarius gems, and you can get them from steels. It's actually an um, uncommon steel, apparently, so it's basically the same as a Bure. So it should be relatively easy. Now, I believe you're over here. There you are! Hello, good sir! Or madam, whatever you would like to be called. The Foo Bar. So, we're going to go steal from these guys. You don't necessarily have to kill them, but you need to steal. So a bunch of eco-herbs, and that's it. You suck, I'm going to kill you. Have a lovely day. Oh, I need to buff up first, or whatever. So it doesn't necessarily matter if you chain. Um, and also on another side, which I should mention, um, with monograph drops as well from monsters, it doesn't matter whether you chain or not, because monograph drops aren't affected by chaining. So it's basically luck, and that's very bad. Oh wow, that's very bad indeed. Come on, Van. Heal up. I'll actually use an X potion instead. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that it's not based on Chaney, it's actually based on um, just luck overall, I guess. So anyhow, I'm going to go get myself some um, four Sagittarius gems, and I didn't steal from it, what am I doing? Four Sagittarius gems, and then when I'm done, I'll meet you all back at the bazaar, so we can finally get the Sagittarius bow. So, be right back. Alright, so here I am at the bazaar, well, to be precise, the Clamp Original Bazaar, so let's go. So first things first, we need to go find three of the um, Beast Lord horn things. So let's try and find that. Let's see, we got Ambrosia, Serpent Eye, Animantite, Mithril, Ancient Bone, Beast Lord horn. There it is. So we'll sell three of those. Um, the other one we need is three Moon Rings, which there they are. And last but not least, of course, we need Sagittarius gem, and that's going to be where all my other gems are, which is up here. Yeah, we need four, not three, my bad. And, of course, there we go, new bizarre goods are available. Silver bow, 60,000 gil. Crafted a beautiful silver medal and adorned with thorns of deep magenta. The handle is the fix of a small shield. And voila, we got the Sagittarius bow. So, I'm going to go test it out and show you what it looks like, of course. Assassin's arrows, I could probably get the Artemis arrows, which are the best arrows in game, so I'll probably get that as well. But um, once I've shown this, this is probably going to be it for a part. And in the next part, I'll be showing um, part 101. I'll be showing how to get the um, rest of the ultimate weapons, or at least majority of majority of them, that is. So it's time to go into the guys' planes and kill some wolves with the Sagittarius bow. Um, also, another side note, which I guess is interesting for some trivia. Uh, the Sagittarius bow isn't the best bow in game on the International Zodiac job system. Believe it or not, it's a really, really, really rare chest on the airship that you um, travel on. It's a 0.001% chance, I believe, called Sightingrat. And it's 228 attack power, I believe it is. So, yeah, it's a ridiculously overpowered bow, and it's even stronger than Zodiac Spear. But this is what the Sagittarius bow looks like. And as you can see, it's pretty freaking overpowered. It's a very good ranged weapon to have. So I'm using the Assassin's Arrows, which have on-hit chance to kill someone. Except when you miss, man, that's a bad thing to do. You don't want to be missing. You're level 99, man. Shoot in the face. Oh! Are you, what? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, I guess you're not very good at using bows. I was going to say, if you missed again, then... Son, I'm disappoint. Anyhow, I'm Nubis from Nubis Plays, and also from CNC Productions, you'll be watching Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 100. I'll see you next time at Part 101. We will find some more ultimate weapons. So, huzzah. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.